I'd concentrate solely on the bullying, because the suicides are just a side effect. There is far more media access and coverage of it these days, and that's why some kids are driven to it if the bullying wasn't there in the first place, would they be driven to look for as drastic a way out as that? And that leads on to whether the school has a bullying ethos in its teaching. How much, if any, is necessary and desirable to show children what real life at work is like? I'm personally unconvinced most schools are fully aware of the difference between teaching, no, you can't do what you like when you like, and also teaching, yes, in fact you can, if it makes your employer the maximum amount of money, and doesn't kill anyone on the way. Gordon Gecko is alive and well, and probably in a headmaster's office near you.